Okay, this is the screen that you'll see once you successfully log in to the Citrix environment or iLab. And uh, so, assuming you're able to get through that hoop, uh, if not, the help desk or the automatic password resetter tool is the only thing that'll get you through that hoop. There's also a plug uh, plugin for your browser that you'll need to install, and that'll allow you to get to this spot. And the first thing you want to do is I've illustrated in a tutorial that I sent out uh, in email in the form of a PDF with screenshots is open up Windows Explorer, uh, which is down here. And it takes a little bit of time uh, to open that. But when it does finally open, it'll open to something like this. And it'll be a screen that has an F drive with your D number and uh, some stuff like this in it. What you'll want to do is click on this G drive down here and drag the math 221 folder to your F drive and that is all of the files all the labs all the data files and everything that we've been speaking of and what this does is it gets your um, uh, all the files you're going to use on the same server as the application which increases the uh, speed with which uh, things are loaded uh, usually saves you some trouble. You can do it from your machine to the iLab server if you want, but I recommend this. So I click on here and we'll go into Math 221 folder and you would see uh, these file, uh, two folders um, that have um, the... Um, trying to move that over here, it's not going to let me. The uh, various data files and then these three word files are the lab documents. In fact you can open it right here and it'll automatically bring up uh, Microsoft Word uh, in the Citrix environment. And so one of the things that I did notice was that it's not perfectly clear uh, which document you should open um, uh, at least in in this uh, screen right here. Uh, but in uh, doc sharing, I believe it's a little clearer. And so what we'll do, since I've put that file in here, now this opens projects only. And by default, until you change it, it's going to go to my documents. So you just bring this down arrow, click on your F drive, and then it, the default should be there from now on. And this one project file, and I believe this will be the last time in a lab where you'll actually open a project file. You'll be going into one of these folders through a different uh, file option on the menu to open worksheets. And I also have illustrated that. But we're going to open this file, the one that's that project file that's already in there. And you see 23 columns of various information that you'll be called upon to uh, get answers to. So, um, for instance, this first, create a pie chart for the variable car. All right. So, on the menu, and this is just like it is in the tutorials, in the mini tab tutorials under Course Home. Uh, it tells you how to do it. And what's weird is, in order to see a list in this column over here, you've got to click on the variable box, and then they magically show up and I already forgot what the pie chart was for cars so car we select it it pops it in there it says in the instructions to label it with your name so we'll do that and then click OK so we get a pie chart now I have noticed that there is an issue cutting and pasting from here into Word. Uh, I, that was kind of a surprise to me when I tried it and I think uh, some other people have noted that. There is a way to get around that. One, you could screenshot it and then crop it into Word or if you just have to have it perfect on the file menu, if you have a graph up, any kind of graph, histogram, pie chart, whatever, you can save graph as and change it to say a JPEG. And it'll save it in whatever folder you tell it to. And so right now it's going to go in this Math 221 folder. Pie chart of car. Yay. Now when I switch over to here, uh, I can go to Insert, Picture. Uh, see, I, I believe Computer. Yep. Uh, 
Matt 221 by Jardikar. There you go. I am going to try something again just because I can't stand it and see if uh, copying this will cooperate just like the directions say. Now watch it work uh, right after I say that it doesn't work. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it appears to be stuck again. Yeah, so you probably get an error like this, and that's fine. So you can screenshot it or do do what I did, um, and all that. And you can make these huge, just in case you want to scare somebody. So that's I gave you the first answer, or how to do it, and the rest are fairly straightforward. And in fact, you can see that they give you directions on what to do. And if you go into the mini tab tutorials in the course you'll see uh, descriptive statistics for price, single sort, price histogram, stem and leaf. Now they didn't show a pie chart in here. Um, actually I think it's embedded in one of these now that I recall. So that is the long and short of how you would get into the environment uh, and do whatever it is uh, that you need to do. So Hope that helps. Uh, you definitely need to get this uh, rolling by the end of this coming week. Uh, so we can delay the turning into the labs a little bit so that people can get over the the Citrix problems that they're having. But uh, there's a pretty small set of potential problems that are easy to fix. And so we c it'll have to stop here uh, in about a week. So more to say about that in email and announcements. Have a good weekend.